Hello everybody, this is Satan Gamer, and today we're going to be talking about how to gut a light cargo mackerel. Let's go ahead and get started. For those of you who are unfamiliar, this is a game called Hard Space Shipbreaker, where you take apart spaceships and uh, throw them into either a barge, a processor, or a furnace, depending on what the piece is. I highly recommend getting this game, it's probably my favorite game of the moment. Now the first thing you're going to do is if there's any antennas, you're going to go ahead and take those off and throw them into the barge. They're worth a few thousand dollars a piece, so totally worth it. Airlock pressure levels dropping. Airlock pressure levels increasing. Now do not start cutting once you get in here. The first thing you want to do is you want to depressurize the mackerel. Air pressure That's level always decreasing. the first thing you do in any given mackerel, no matter what. Always depressurize it first. And there you can go ahead and you can start making your cuts. We're using a level one cutter, which means that we're able to make this cut without cutting the amount of carbon. That's something that the uh, developers here are going to do is make the level two cutter toggleable because it lets you cut nanocarbon which can be really useful but it also means you make a lot of oh, unintentional cuts that's actually the reason i haven't uh, gotten the level two on this profile yet that i think i'm a level below it on this profile could be wrong i have to double check and see whatever the case i like to take off the bottom piece first and then just go ahead and that's a bug where the cargo hatch Salvage has its own secured. atmosphere. That's why applied. everything suddenly sounded super weird. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and eat uh, all of the Salvage cargo into the bug. Oh shit. Uh, collect that before it blows up. Alright, now you see how this piece is aluminum? We're going to leave that one alone, but we're going to go ahead and release the rest of this. While we're up here in front, let's go ahead and let's cut off these pieces. These are connecting the frame of the ship to the front of the ship. And just so we don't forget later on, we're going to go ahead and take those off now. Let's take out the store. And we're going to leave it there for the moment. Let's cut off this panel. Pull down and tether it into the processor, and you are good to go. If it has a computer terminal on it, make sure you grab that before it goes into the processor. You can use that computer terminal to uh, safely disengage the thruster. However, I rarely, if ever, do that on a macro, mainly because the utility keys are too valuable. They're about $50,000 a piece, and they can uh, save your butt with a gecko. So, you want to save them for the geckos because they can get pretty rare in the later game breaks. Oh, I haven't cut those cut points yet. Let's go ahead and cut those cut points. Now we've already turned off this fuel. And you see how the fuel line goes directly from the back of the ship, it doesn't go across the top. In some of the mackerels, the fuel lines go across the top of this inner uh, side, and that's a huge bonus because it means you can get the entire side of the processor with relative uh, tethers. 
in this case we're going to have to use several because they each piece of the side is its own individual, well, piece. This is the reactor and some of the higher uh, ranked mackerels. The reactor is going to be inside of the ship instead of on, instead of in the back itself. So you're going to need to keep that in mind. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's cut off this nacelle. Tether it to the barge. And now let's tether this side into the processor. With these ones where it has a frame on the outside, I like to do the tether on the frame. That's just my preference. If you don't, cool. Good to you, man. As long as you don't die. Now on this one, I think we forgot... Yep, we did forget one of the cut points, so that's why it's not going out. Let's go and pull this reactor out and get it down there. Beautiful. There we go, and that tether's probably going to die here in a minute, so let's go ahead and give this a bit of a push. It must be too heavy for us to push, we'll just tether it into it the processor. Okay. Now you see there's another side here, but there is not a hole in the wall. So this is where breaking the front off early comes in handy. You see how it's chipped in a little bit? Processing We're going to make it chip a little bit more. Turn to the front of the ship to the master jack, come back, and you can see it's coming apart, getting this easy access. I'm going to delete that tether. So it stops moving forward. You don't want to move forward all the way because you're going to have to throw all this stuff to the processor or the furnace eventually. Alright, all of the cut points in the front side are off, so we're going to go ahead and tether that into the processor. In the macros, you'll often find coolant tanks and power cells on the sides of the cockpit here, so you need to keep that in mind. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transfer. Oxygen reserves are low. Alright, now our oxygen is getting kind of low. Now one thing that's really helpful with the mackerels is that there's often oxygen and fuel on oxygen the sides of the vehicle here. Salvage on the sides secured. of the ship. Account credit applied. So make sure you look for that. Uh, the station hoppers and the light cargo vessels have a lot. The heavy cargo, uh, not as much. So it really kind of depends on which mackerel you're working with. Now there's one more cut point back there, but it's behind the fuel canister, so we're going to go ahead and get it after we get these other pieces off. There we are. All right, we're gonna want another tether on that because Caution. apparently that tether one supplies are low. wasn't working right. Okay, now we've already cut the frame apart from the back of the ship. So now what we're going to do is we're going to cut the cut points from the thruster cap. On some of the earlier mackerels, you'll be able to just pull the thruster cap off. But on the later ones, you'll have to cut it off at the cut points. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to tether the thruster to the sh uh, barge. There we go, it's on the thruster this time. Let's come down here. Activate the emergency override to release the thruster. Now the reason you're doing that is because sometimes when you do the emergency override, the thruster will light on fire and try to destroy the back of the ship. By te tethering it to the barge before doing the emergency override, the tether is going to pull it out of the back of the ship, 
before it can do any serious damage and cost you some hard earned salvage. Now in a race, we would want to be done the f few minutes ago, seven at uh, the seven to eight minute mark. Where this is not a race, we're not going to worry about that. Thank you for your purchase. Have a nice day, Carter. You got five minutes left in this shift. Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out. Less concerned out on here you. with getting all the work orders, and more concerned with just getting the whole buffalo. Sometimes the ship will turn like this, especially once you get into a bunch of smaller pieces. That's perfectly okay, you can still work with it, you have not it. Now you can't pull this piece off because the storage containers are in place. Let's pull them out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Well, that power junction box must have been in there. Well, do it now. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Sometimes it's in the cockpit, sometimes it's in the middle of the ship. Just kind of depends. In this case, it must have been in the attached to the frame of the ship. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. All right. Now that we have the back of the cockpit off, it's going to throw the furniture down. Salvage deposit accepted. And then let's do the computer terminals. I want to be careful with the computer terminals because if they hit anything on the way out, they will lose health and they lose it fast. When they start losing health, they start throwing electricity all over the place and it becomes a huge mess secured. and Credit stuff is deposited. lighting on fire and other electronics are dying. It's just, it's awful. We'll try to avoid that if we can. Alright, now we have three Salvage minutes left to gut the rest Credit of this transfer. cockpit. Now this glass, we're just going to cut it there. There, like so. Make sure that the cuts went across the entire length, and they did. Go ahead and cut this there. You can see the edge of the nanocarbon there, so we're gonna go until the edge is just barely gone, and then do the next cut. We'll try and get as much of the glass as possible. We're gonna pull that out, and we're gonna eat it into the furnace. Deposit accepted. All right. Next, we have. The aluminum. Now, the aluminum, uh, aluminum is the least valuable thing in the entire game. And so, if you have to choose between getting the nanocarbon in the processor or the aluminum in the furnace, um, especially during the race, uh, get the nanocarbon into the processor and ignore the aluminum. However, we have a couple minutes left here, so we're going to go ahead and try to salvage as much of it as we can. Oxygen reserves are low. Note that excess carbon dioxide can cause damage to Link's equipment. Now we don't want to spend another eight thousand dollars to stay out here for an extra what thirty seconds. So what we're going to have to do here in just a minute, we're going to cut out these last couple pieces of aluminum, and we're going to tether this into the processor, and we're just going to leave the last of it over there. Because the time it's going to take us to cut it out is going to be, the, or by the time we cut it out, we're going to run out of oxygen and start dying. Oxygen reserves are critical. Raw material process. All right, okay. wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Uh, is the cockpit already gone in? Okay. Yep. We got the process panel. So we're good to go ahead and just exit the day. And that's how you got a light cargo mackerel. You can see we got all but one of our work orders. I, I don't know how I missed the power junction box. I just did. Totally my bad. 
Uh, but here we pulled out just under three million dollars. It looks like we destroyed quite a bit of nanocarbon and the classroom reactor plate. The classroom reactor plate is not something I've ever salvaged. It's just, you'd have to melt the aluminum panel behind it and it's just a huge pain to do that. Especially if you haven't upgraded your cutter to the maximum heat uh, resistance settings. Uh, we lost a bit of the structure of the aluminum. We lost a couple of aluminum panels, but all in all, not too shabby, especially since this only had about three and a half million dollars worth of equipment in there. Losing half a million is not bad, especially for doing the entire job in a single shift. All right, and with that, thank you for watching me, and good luck gutting your own light cargo mackerels. Have a great day, y'all.